This video will show you how to create a multiple choice question interaction in Captivate. A multiple choice question is fairly common and you must all have used it with your students or answered it yourself countless times. Nonetheless, I am defining it here so that you know exactly what we shall be doing. So a multiple choice question is one wherein you give your users multiple options to answer a question and they have to choose either one or many correct answers as applicable. Also, to keep it simple, in this example, we shall use only text-based questions and answers to create this interaction. Otherwise, you can use shapes and pictures, etc. In this first two slides, I have already created two types of multiple choice interactions. If you preview the slides from here, it shows how the interaction works. So as you see, there is a simple question with five answer choices. The question text as well as these squares indicate that multiple answer options are correct. Let me try answering this question. So a polygon with four sides is a square, a trapezoid and a rectangle. Okay, let's submit this answer. And yes, the answer is correct as shown by this message here. Let's move on and see how the next interaction type looks like. So over here, we have another type of multiple choice question with one correct answer. Let's try to answer this question. It asks to choose a polygon with three sides. Let's choose the wrong answer this time. Say square and select submit. So you see the feedback has changed now. It indicates that the answer was incorrect. Okay, so this is how the interaction is supposed to work. Now let's close this preview and try to create it from scratch. To do so, you will need to insert a question slide by clicking here in the slides drop down and then selecting question slide. In this new dialog box that opens, you need to select multiple choice and then specify if it's a graded question, um, that is if the question has marks allotted to it or not, and then click OK. A new slide like this will be created. In this new slide, uh, you need to type in your question and answer options in this space provided. But before you do that, you need to determine how many answer options you want your question to have and whether it needs to have multiple correct answers. Let's use the question from the first interaction. So the question, which polygon have four sides has five answer choices, out of which three are correct. Therefore, over here in the quiz pane, I need to change the answer to five and also select this checkbox indicating that multiple answers are correct. If I don't do this last step, I will essentially create the second type of multiple choice question that I showed in the preview. The one that had only one unique answer. Apart from these, there are several properties that you can manipulate through the quiz pane here to change the format of your question. To know more about all the properties, please see the concept module for quiz pane provided on the side of this video tutorial page. Uh, for now, let's try to create the most basic type of interaction and go back to editing the question. So for editing, uh, you start here and you basically start typing. And the answer choices similarly, you just start typing. Also, you need to uh, check mark the right answers so that Captivate knows how to judge your user's response. Once this is done, let's see how the feedback works. Now this place over here in the, is the feedback area. And by default, there are certain feedback texts already provided. 
if you want to customize them, you need to click on the object and then just type in. If you want to see other states, you can go to the state view and then select different states of the shapes to manipulate them individually. You may also exit the state view at any time you like uh, by closing it. Let us preview our interaction now. So as you see the interaction described earlier works. This is the most basic type of multiple choice interaction and as I told you, you could have not selected multiple answers and then got the other type of interaction that I showed in the preview. And there are several different variations as well that you can create in your multiple choice question to make it more effective and engaging to your users. You can introduce shape as I was saying before. Um, and a variety of other things. So I hope you try uh, an example based on this interaction and post it in the examples and comment section below. And that's it for this tutorial.